It is the 6th of the 5th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Now in two weeks I'm leaving for my Appalachian Trail trip. I'll be hiking uh, over 500 miles from Springer Mountain uh, as far north as we can get in 10 weeks kind of thing. I'm still taking donations for the trip. If you would like to help out, please, please uh, be much greatly appreciated. So let's get down to the news. e, &E News headline. Happy, Fukushima nuclear plant worker was interviewed. Quote, it's like a war zone. Uh, this was the, the Fukushima plant worker that has been tweeting uh, he's no longer there at the Fukushima Daiichi plant during the crisis situation. CBS News, giant Louisiana sinkhole could continue to grow for years to come, according to a company official. That's something I've been telling you for a while yet. Uh, this big, deep sinkhole, it's the deepest one ever on record to have this problem, uh, will settle out. And uh, the problem expands. Marked uptick and microquake in the past days around the giant sinkhole, Louisiana Bayou Corner Course. Uh, they've raised the alert level to code 3. Arnie Gunderson's back on the news. Extremely radioactive rubble on Fukushima reactor number 3 to be nuclear fuel. From either spent fuel pool or the reactor. Could be from a simple hy can't be from a simple hydrogen explosion. You gotta remember number three was the big explosion at Fukushima, and those uh, fuel rods definitely went somewhere. That thing blew way up high in the sky, and we've all seen the video. Extremely radioactive rubble found on top of Fukushima reactor number three. Uh, officials, well, that was a code two alert. It's been raised to a code three alert. Former governor, governor leaking U.S. nuclear site, quote, underground Chernobyl waiting to happen. Uh, this is the Hanford nuclear site in Washington State. Um, they are worried it will leach into the Columbia River and radio and uh, ruin everything kind of thing. I'm saying it's already been done. Um, this old place has been leaking for a long, long time. There's no could-bes about it. Unfortunately, what we war uh, warned about appears to be happening. Methane from deep below the giant sinkhole, this is Louisiana again, is now surfacing in the community. And it's an ongoing situation down there. Those salt dooms are very unstable. Lawmaker, quote, smells like a deliberate cover-up of leaks at U.S. nuclear site. A very serious problem. And I believe this has to do with the Palisades. Uh, military planes dropped radiation bombs by U.S. cities 60 times more radio radioactivity than released during TMI meltdown. We are nothing but their guinea pigs. Smoke coming out from nuclear power plant reactor shut down. Smoldering lagging on turbine. And... Uh, Goldfish swimming in reactor water at a U.S. nuclear plant dies soon after. Quote, the radiation could not have killed them, unquote. NRC is investigating concerns about workers' morale. Uh, somebody who is using a goldfish as a canary in the coal mine kind of thing. And, uh, of course, uh, giant sinkholes volume tripled since October. And this thing continues to expand. This Louisiana sinkhole again. Underexplained water leak at Fukushima reactor immediately after the 311 Big 9.0 quake. Critical cooling system was disabled, question mark. And uh, they're going into the argument that it was the earthquake that damaged the nuclear reactor and not the tsunami. And minor quakes now being detected by other salt caverns near the Louisiana giant sinkhole. Um, the whole land is littered with these great big giant uh, salt domes. And uh, again, the land is pretty unstable down there right now. Inside sources, I was there when San Ofre nuclear power plant shut down. I wouldn't trust them to turn it back on. We're dealing with unknown territory here. And again, if they don't turn, um, if they don't allow San Ofre to, to operate under a basic system kind of thing, um, they're going to go ahead and retire those reactors, which they very much should. Expert, Fukushima nuclear material to wash up on beaches and being 
and be blown over surrounding countryside. And what they're saying is the radioactive water in the Pacific Ocean uh, washes up to the beaches, um, evaporates, and the radioactive now um, whatever is all over the sand and stuff, and the wind picks that up and blows it up in land kind of thing. Uh, this will be happening all along the Pacific Ocean. The British did studies about sea mist and how sea mist can be carried by the wind um, just from the breaking waves on the beach kind of thing up to 15 kilometers inland. So you, if you've ever lived near the ocean, you can smell it miles away before you even reach the kind of thing. And that is that sea mist rolling in from the coast kind of thing. So be very aware about what is going on. Finally, over to informidable news. I just got one story up today. The Palisades nuclear power plant shut down Sunday morning just after 1 a.m. due to a leak from safety injection refueling water tank. Last year, the plant was shut down due to leaks from the SIRW tank after leaking water was found to be seeping into the control room. But it was allowed to restart by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission until the leak reached some 34 gallons per day. According to the plant operations, the leak had increased, for unknown reasons, to an estimated 90 gallons per day. Uh, the work is being monitored by on-site inspectors from the NRC. Yay! But uh, thus far, the workers have been able, unable to locate the source of the leak. The utility has not identified if it will attempt to repair the leaking tank or if it has committed to replacement of the tank, which would require a longer shutdown. They need to shut all these nuclear power plants down. Uh, they're falling apart. That's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. And thanks again for everybody helping me out with my uh, Appalachian Trail trip. I surely do appreciate the help. Thanks, everybody.